Good morning, everyone. It's not shaping up <laughs> like it's going to be a great week. Last week was pretty atrocious with my fibro pain and then obviously dealing with this broken toe as well. Ugh, I've got a headache this morning and just general fibro pain from you know, head to toe. <laughs> but I just wanted to start the vlog and try and film bits and just catch you up throughout the day because I don't think, again, I filmed a lot last week. I mean, it's not very exciting stuff I'll be doing, but, you know, a little homemaking tasks. Actually got a little bit done over the weekend and Kevin did a few of the chores that I'd asked him to do. So he, what did I ask him to do? To tidy up his little trolley thing there, which we did. Kind of helped him with that one, but he did most of it. Moved some things around because virtually when we moved in, it just all got dumped in there. Or once we got the trolley, it got dumped in there. So we did that. So I was very proud of him. I asked him to take some stuff upstairs just because myself at the moment, obviously going up and downstairs with my toes, not ideal. <laughs> See if my fibro pain would let me do it. But anyway, he did all that. He's still got one tub there, but it's to go in his car when he's taking his car to work, I think he said, because currently my van is still in getting repairs so he's on his motorbike uh, he'll come home with my van today and then he'll go to take his car tomorrow so maybe tomorrow i'll have to check with him about that because still at the bottom of the stairs right now and obviously the front is full of um delivery boxes because <laughs> again he hasn't taken his car he's had the motorbike so hopefully we'll get that gone tomorrow maybe as well because i want to film the house tour for you guys because i kind of think the ways are getting away let's just get this filmed yes it's not the way it will probably stay, because obviously I've done no no work in that study area. But, oh well, I just want to get it filmed. <laughs> so what else did I do? I made a few little arrangement, rearrangements in the kitchen. Oh, Kevin, yes, he took all the boxes upstairs while I was downstairs playing with the pups at one, I think that was on Saturday. And then yesterday we had a nice bath. Don't have a bath Saturday and Sunday, because it's been very wet and gloomy here. Still not really cold, but cooler considerably cooler so we had a nice bath and then he cleaned the bath at the end because i asked him to do that because it was a game with my toe trying to clean the bath i, didn't, I thought it might be a bit hard mind you i hadn't thought that i should be in the bath while i was cleaning it <laughs> but he did that and i managed to do the shower screen because i didn't know how i'd go but well i'd vacuumed the kitchen the day before when i'd cleaned it up and give him around the vacuum through the rest of the place except for the rugs because we're using his Ryobi vacuum and the suction's just too strong. I can't do any of these rugs. So we're looking at getting a little um, robot vacuum cleaner for the new place, like eventually. But he decided we should get it here. So he's ordered that. Apparently it's like one of the best ones you can get. Because if you don't know Kevin, if you're new around here, Kevin is a problem solver. If you give him a problem, he will solve it. No matter what it takes. <laughs> So I was complaining because my arm got really sore just vacuuming the kitchen with the robe because it's a heavy machine. And obviously I've been having fibro days so that probably made it worse. And then I couldn't do the rugs. So he's got online and he's found this fancy vacuum that also mops. He said it sounds pretty incredible and it's like, I don't, I, he hasn't even told me how much it costs, but I guess again, it's something we're going to get eventually. We may as well get it now and then it can do everything. So that's... <laughs> That's the vacuum situation Kevin has solved it and tried to make things as easy for me as he can because obviously we're going through a bit of a rough patch. Last night I managed to get my arm milk mate done and my oats made up for the week. So it's three for Kevin, three for myself. So that was really pleased. I was pleased to get that done on Saturday and just some little bits and pieces really. But I'm looking after the puppers, playing with the puppers. Oh, stairs. We have stairs here. Luckily, we don't use those stairs. I guess they're not going to need vacuumed very much, but they do at the moment need vacuumed. Uh, I might put it on the list and get Kevin to do it when he's back from Washington. Because, yeah, I don't want to try doing the stairs with this flipper on. That sounds like a falling down the stairs situation if I've ever heard one. So I'm just going to hang out the washing now, get another cup of tea. I've already done the dishwasher. So I'm just doing my usual approach. A job every time I get up for a tea or the toilet, which is usually, usually at the same time. And we'll just see how we go. But breakfast is obviously sorted for today. Lunch, that's easily fixed. And then dinner, I'm going to try and make a mushroom risotto, I think, tonight. And tomorrow, we'll have a stir fry. A reheated risotto should be fine. I don't really have any choice because I'm not going to do it later on. 
with the routine Kevin and I have now he comes home. We have five o'clock tea, which is usually when he's home around, which is really weird because I'm used to, like for most of his working career, it's been, we used to aim for dinner at six, but it, so he'd be home like just before six, between that and sort of 6.30. So to, for him now to be home regularly at five o'clock, it's good for him because he still goes in early. He was, he'd gone before the dog went for the walk. So he'd gone before, I think he'd gone close to 7.30 this morning. So he puts in a very solid day. He deserves to be home at five o'clock in the afternoon. We have five o'clock tea and we watch some YouTube for a bit. And then eventually I'll get dinner and we'll move on to a couple of TV shows. What are we watching at the moment? Oh, uh, Masters of the Air. Really, really good series. Uh, oh, it's very dark on our screen. I don't know why it's so dark because I'm sure it's not really that dark. Let me know if you've seen it. Did you find it to be a dark show? Like some scenes, we just cannot see what's happening because it's so dark. I wonder if we should, I don't think the positioning of the TV would do much in here. Like we turn off the lights to give it the best, but it's hard to watch. Anyway, right, I'm not going to keep rambling on. I'm going to get this washing hung out, another cup of tea, and yeah, we'll see. I'm very, very rough this morning, so nothing will be happening for a while. find it chew star if you find it chew you can get it surely use your big tongue <laughs> it's just on the armor so it gets loud i'll go get it for him <laughs> oh boy i have to go get it for him oh no coda's gonna try it now i think oh yeah coda's gonna Let's see if he can get it oh. Oh yeah, I don't think we can get it quite where it is. Oh no, Chewie's trying another position. Use your tongue, mate, use your tongue. Tongue, not teeth. Nope. Try <laughs> <Turn> that way. <laughs> oh, Papa. I'll come help Chewie. <laughs> more presentable now that I'm probably shiny because I just put my jojoba oil on so I thought I'd just finish getting myself ready just under my teeth tried to make my hair look not so crazy but you know did I have to pull it back or not to pull it up off my neck that's you know a possibility because I tend to get hot but yeah my hair's been really bad lately came with that she said to me I should get you know like 15 centimeters which is what how much is it in inches? Divide by 2.2. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I can't do that. Five inches or so? Five to six inches? No. No, that's not that's not correct because that would be like up here, wouldn't it? Oh, my brain's not working this morning. You know, like my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably about the size of my hand <laughs> probably not quite that much yeah probably about that much i don't know that seems a lot doesn't it it is quite long like when especially when you straighten it out it's like coda's curly hair like when you pull it out it's longer than and it's got that curl in it 
Anyway, you can probably guess how <laughs> much has been achieved this morning. I think I've done most of my morning things that need to be done though. I've got to check that morning minutes thing. That's a lot I'm going with. Morning minutes sounds good to me because I can do like a minutes job or a few minutes job when I get up. I did clean the toilet while I was in there. Yeah, I think I'm right. I want to make up a lettuce. Oh, no, a lettuce. A salad. <laughs> They're going to have with, you know, meals or doing any lunch or dinner, isn't it? But yeah, I thought I'd make, try and make a salad up because it's all stuff I can just add to other things as well. So I've got the lettuce rinsey thing off. I have ordered some groceries. They won't be here till like three or between three and four o'clock, but that's okay. I don't really need anything for dinner, I don't think, tonight. I'm finally going to make mushroom risotto. Oh, do you want to get that done? I should probably do that next time I get up. So see, I'm still very sore. I can even take the stool in the kitchen, I guess, and sit down and stir because that's the problem. With the thing with risotto, you do have to monitor and you have to stir it and I'm still not used to this uh, induction cooktop. <laughs> I've used gas for 20 years, so it's very, oh, over 20 years actually. enough mushrooms for dinner so I'm not quite sure what I should do I think uh, I've ordered some more with another exotic mix these are meant for stir fries but I also am going to do a stir fry tomorrow night I was going to use mushrooms <laughs> I've got two quite they'll taste different well they're two quite similar dinners in a row but the stir fry tastes very different to a risotto so and I use noodles instead of rice so I'm sure it'll be fine even if we have some common ingredients like mushrooms that's really the only common ingredient, I think. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, I didn't realize how noisy that was running in the background. It's just the dog's vegetables cooking. I've still got a headache, still not feeling great, but I've done a few things. I've cleaned out the fridge. I even gave the vegetable. I'll show you rather than just tell you. I know this when I was editing a video, I was doing a lot of telling you what I had done or what I was going to do, not so much showing. So, so I'll work on that this week. So I cleaned here and I cleaned out. Yeah, not perfectly i just got my co cloth and a spray and just did it that way and i just sort of scooped it out so it's not perfect but it's not too bad so i can actually pop these things back in here now the fridge is working out pretty well i think i've still got some cabbage cut so i don't need to do that uh so i'm going for space when this is finished got one more dog dinner so yeah i was having a look what i had in there i should cut that watermelon today too not too much. So yeah, I need to get back. If I get back in my food prep, that'll make a, a big difference to things, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> These star things look up, they're a reflection of the light to above the bench. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I could just try and film and I don't film. <laughs> Not a very good vlogger, am I? Anyway, I checked and I thought, no, I've only got photos, I think. Anyway, I've got my salad for lunch. I just this normal salad base that I've been making for ages. And I should have made up enough for another couple of days. And then I've got a couple of potatoes done in the air fryer with my sort of sauce slash dressing which is a runny tahini from the sauce you need to get a really nice good quality tahini and just set some cherry balsamic drizzle which i get from morella grove get that online we bought it on one of our travels somewhere one stage and really like it so that's my little dressing a bit better quality ingredients than the mayonnaise and what do you do mayonnaise and tomato sauce so 
This is my healthier one that I have. And it's um, turned out a beautiful afternoon. Nice blue sky. That's why we're sitting outside to have lunch. And then I bought out my diaries and stuff, and I might do a bit of planning in that, a bit of Alaska, sort of trying to fine tune my days. And then I've got the groceries coming at three o'clock, so we can then get them put away, and I can finish up cutting up my mushrooms, which I've already cut up, but I can cut up the rest and get my risotto made. So I'm still not feeling very good as far as fibro goes. Still got a slight headache. But mentally I'm feeling pretty good today. I don't know why. I think probably because I got on top of jobs on the weekend and I didn't have... I mean, most of the pressure comes from myself. It's my pressure I put on myself to do things and expectations, I guess, which, you know, I'm pretty sure all homemakers do. Or anyone who... Whatever work you do, you sort of... Most of the time put pressure on yourself to get things done. So I didn't have that today because we'd done that with the cleaning last night. And, yeah, I just wanted to get the salad done, which I've done. And the result I made, which I still got to do. And get the groceries unpacked and put away when they get here. But yeah, not too bad a day. I've just moved the washing up along there. I don't think it's going to get any more sun. Probably would if, if oh not will actually. As the sun goes down, that's going to come into the sun. So yeah, we'll get more sun. So it should be all dry because it was a nice little, nice little breeze today. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. I haven't had this for a long time because I had to get some more tahini. <laughs> It's been, I think, months since I've had this particular um, lunch. <laughs> okay, the groceries have come. I've put most of them away. Oh, I need to wash my grapes. I have to go on the dishwasher. I have washed those already. And I think some of them are needed for dinner. So I'll put some of these in containers. That's my other ones for our stir fry tomorrow night. You always get different ones in there, so it's interesting to see what you're going to get. So, yeah, I've got some other button mushrooms. We'll cut up and add to these ones. I have no idea what these ones are, they're very weird. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's been fun having some different mushrooms. I'm sure some of you guys have told me to sit on a stool before while I've been working in the kitchen, but I've never done it before. But <laughs> here we are, because it takes about 20 minutes of stirring in the risotto. And yeah, it's good to um, help not be in so much pain. So yeah, so now I need to start doing a bit more of. So anyway, I'm just stirring. That's good. I might have to get myself a stool for our place when we move. It's one of those comfortable stools. I'm sure I can get a more comfortable stool though. Yeah, it's probably a, a good idea. Yeah. I remember my granny used to have one of those really old-fashioned ones. I've seen them around and they fold out and they had the steps as well. Uh, if I find a photo, I'll insert it. But when I think of stools and kitchens, that's what I always think of because I guess I must have used that in my granny's. Not the granny that you guys might know, but my dad's mum. Um, yeah, her, that granny. She always, she had it in her kitchen. It's funny how you have some very strong memories of, of things. She used to make a really nice barley vegetable soup, so I, I'll make a version of that. I'll make a barley vegetable soup whenever I make that, I'll think of her. I wonder what, wonder what people will think of one day when they think of me.
morning. <laughs> Still not feeling great. Same old, same old around here, I'm afraid. But I did bring my cooking binders over. I did a bit of a tidy up. Uh, so it's a bit of rubbish up the end. Duplicate prints. And then one's got like... These are both my healthy folders. The ones I usually cook out of. But this one's got like soups and salads and some lamachia like, cookies and my bliss ball recipes. Other brec and breakfasts are in here as well. And then this one's just pretty much all dinners or mains. I've got to fit these into this folder. I'm thinking, Jerry, the folder's getting a bit full. But I thought, and I was going, thinking, I need to get another folder. I thought, no, I really don't want more than one folder full of recipes. I think that's quite enough. Uh, so I guess what I'll do is, I'll, um, if I can't make room for these, I have to, I'll have to go through and pull some out that I'm not cooking, or put, maybe then go in another the old family favourites folder or something. Though there's very few of those because these are all my vegan, pretty much healthy recipes. But yeah, I'll go through, I guess, and see if there's something that we don't like. I mean, some I know have got different varieties of the same thing. Well, I'll pick the one that I make because that's what usually happens. He's just been downstairs. He's just have a go for a wander. It's funny that I'm looking for the dog walker at 8 o'clock this morning. And she's not coming today. But they're both sort of looking for I got, I got up and moved and they got all excited and they headed to the front door. So they obviously um, enjoy their walk with the dog walker, but instead today, a bit later when it's sort of dried out a bit outside, I'm sure his feet were still a bit damp, we'll go downstairs and do some fetch probably, although it's supposed to be a hot day, so it could be water play for them. I'll do something with them anyway downstairs today, since they don't get their walk. I double stacked the little round beds and washing the covers, and that's all that's left of them, but kind of things it works as a bed anyway. Good boy. I have been looking for this banana <laughs> muffin recipe. It's an old, old, old Weight Watchers one. I've had it since 2010. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty old in a recipe terms. Just a really easy one to make for Kevin for his lunch. So I'm going to... Oh, I've got some bananas. I'm not sure I'll make them now though or not. Maybe tomorrow, but yeah, I can get some made and get them frozen. But yeah, I've been looking for this since we moved in. We've been here nearly five weeks. So it's been a while. <laughs> I went through all my folders and I went back through and it was just standing up, tucked in the corner of a, an upright folder. Anyway, that's found now, so that's good. I'm still feeling pretty sore. My hands are actually slightly better at the moment. They've been really, really painful. But I'm gonna get dinner started, get my vegetables chopped up, got some, Stuff that got washed yesterday, never got to put away last night, so I'm gonna get that put away. And some dishes that were just drying. I think that's kind of all I have to do. I'm gonna have a salad for lunch today. Uh, it's definitely a good day for a salad. I popped the aircon on because it was really humid after my shower. I was very uncomfortable, so I put that on. And hmm, I think this is what I'll do now. Good dinner made it be a good thing. At least get all the vegetables chopped up and the sauce made and get that done. And these are the bits that I just mentioned. I think that'll be a good start. I'm just gonna, don't know, I haven't really done a lot of washing today. I washed all the dog beads and stuff that you've seen. So I haven't really got much else in particular to do today. I think I will try and restore that recipe folder while it's out. That's probably a good thing to do. And Probably some Alaska planning because I just realized last night it's like two and a half months till we go and there's still quite a bit that I haven't booked <laughs> so I want to try and get that sorted and finished because otherwise the time will be here and we'll be ready to go because yeah I just know how fast time goes around here it's crazy anyway I've got dogs dinners to dish up to vegetables being cut up so I'll just get them done I'll pop the camera on while I remember and film for a change.
wrap for lunch because I had the essential to use up. I just thought it was easy to, to do that. I had to chop up some half of the cabbage that I had, so I've done that. And I added a bit more cabbage to yesterday's salad mix. I've also got a bit of salad mix on there too. A bit to chop up for doggies dinner later. So I'm gonna go have that now. I'm trying to have less of this processed food, but we have left over, so I will use it up. This is my very good puppy's den. We ready, Chew? <laughs> Chewie's playing as well. <laughs> Chewie's playing steal the ball from Coda. You jump on him. Yay! <laughs> good boys. It's okay, he's fine. He'll just <laughs> let's get Coda on the way back. Chewie's going to have it now. Chewie's got it. Yay, Chewie. You've got the steel, mate. You've got the steel. Come on. Bring it back, Chew. Good boy. You ready? Go, Chewie. Go, Chewie. You're going to go on this time, mate. What about? Oh, Chew, watch, pay attention. Chewy. Chewy. How could you get it when you're not watching? Yay, Kinai. <laughs> oh, this is good. This will tie them out a bit because it's an exercise today. We already want Chewy out, haven't we? You found it after all those runs. Poor Coda Bear. I'll give you this one, lady. <laughs> Chewie's eating some grass, so. Poor Coda Bear. That's sad, matey. <laughs> he's taken the ball up there, which means he's had enough. But I bet if we did water play, it would have to happy to do that. I just didn't fancy trying to brush to dry both the dog. My back's really sore. All right, I'll take him upstairs and get him some water. Choo choo. You never know what you're going to end up doing in a day, do you? <laughs> I just sat down down to work on a new jigsaw puzzle. I've got like, I don't know, half a dozen corner pieces out, maybe a little bit more. And I saw a message flash up on my phone from a consultant that we're using to try and book our flights or to try and find some frequent flyer flights that are good points value or a rewards flight uh, for our trip at the end of the year. And he's found a good uh, price. So I'm just distracted by blue hair from thing one all over the floor, thanks to Chewy. Uh, yeah, he found a really good um, deal for us coming back from LA to Sydney, which works out because we finish in Vegas. And it's in first class and it's just like a few hundred points each. And Kevin's got like, well, I think even after that, he's still got two million left. <laughs> so he's got lots and lots of points at the moment. So yeah, we, we find back first class, which will be, I don't really feel the need to go first class at all. I'm very happy with business class. But we're having trouble getting any tickets, so we grab them. So, yeah, well, we're coming home from from America, and now we just got to get ourselves to America. <laughs> anyway, doggies are wanting their dinner, so I'm going to go do that, grab the sheets, 
and get the bed made. Kevin's still on his way back from Canberra. He went down to Canberra today for some work.